Drivers market breaking news. Haven't said that in a while since a silly season it felt like. So we've got a little bit of news. It's just really confirmation uh, about Antonio Giovinazzi will retain his ride at Alpha next year. So kind of saw that coming. Um, I've included the actual, uh, a little bit, the the long form blog actually in the description, but just giving you guys the heads up. Um, I'm just, you know, I was kind of noticing not, not a lot of people are talking about it probably because it's one day after a Grand Prix. It's just confirmation, no transfer, anything like that. But I still wrote it up and wanted you guys to be uh, aware in case you missed it or, or, you know, I don't want you to catch it late. Hopefully you can catch it first. So rather than just kind of give you a simple update, which, you know, is kind of the aim of these goals, these breaking news alerts, I want to give you a little bit more. And uh, so uh, before I do, though, make sure if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, all the engagement really, really matters and means a lot. It's it's how this channel will grow. Independent journalists uh, talking about F1 is certainly not preferred by YouTube. They prefer the big channels, the ones you can think of. So we will get, um, and a lot of other channels like mine will get throttled and it's, you know, it's hard to, to grow these channels. But you guys have been great so far, and uh, I appreciate it. So there's the uh, there's my pitch. Now let's get into it. Giovinazzi sits, and in the comment section below, do you think Giovinazzi deserves this? Uh, deserves a bad word? Do you think Giovinazzi, if he wasn't, let's say, if he wasn't a uh, rookie driver, would he keep this role? Should he keep this role? And is he panning out the way we thought? Um, so I'll just kind of give you the information, and you can go from there. So in terms of the drivers' championship, Giovinazzi sits 18th. Uh, just ahead of the Williams drivers, he's got four points. Um, his his delta in terms of Kimmy's, uh, in terms of points itself, Kimmy's got 31. So with Kimmy's 31 uh, to Giovinazzi's four, that's a 27 point gap, right? So, and I've actually got it up here on screen, actually behind my head, so I can don't need to switch pages or anything like that. I've already loaded it up for you guys. So. That's a pretty big gap, and I know what you're thinking. Like he's a he's a freshman. Kimmy's a you know a former world champion. True. That's you know, and, and it's right here by the way. That's a true statement. But um, you know, you look at uh, other drivers, and are they close? Are they as close? I'm I'm not here to sit here and say he's not deserving of the seat. I actually think he is. I think he's in terms of the right person for that role. An Italian driver should be in that role, and you know, I think he got all the kinks out. Now, next season's a different story. I think he needs to show up and get results. But four points, I'm sure, left Alpha a little bit, you know, wanting. So I know that he's even talked about that. He can improve and do better. And, you know, removing this idea that he's a rookie, he wants that out too. So it's a fair it's fair criticism, even by his own standard. But um, I'm still not I'm, – I'm not necessarily – and I, I need to dig into everything. But uh, the piece of information that's helpful – that, uh, you know, I'm not necessarily saying he obviously uh, that he doesn't he shouldn't be in that seat. I'm, he should. And the piece of information that holds that together is the fact that his qualifying head to head is 10 to 9. So in the same machinery as Kimi Raikkonen, who, yeah, is probably on his down slope, but still nonetheless a talented driver and was able to get points. And Giovinazzi has actually grabbed the momentum lately. But that's uh, a qualifying 10 to 9 with Brazil and Abu Dhabi left. So he technically could take this qualifying. Now, the points are wildly lopsided and there's a lot of things i'd want to dig into like uh, mechanical dnfs um, like lockups um, a number of errors number of passes you know he's got that if, technically he's got you know, he was actually leading a race for a little bit of time so there's a lot of things to consider um i think Vasor, i think he would have liked giovanazzi to contribute some more points but it wasn't um it wasn't a total loss and that's just how i feel just off cuff but the point of this video is really just to give you guys the heads up and, and provide this constant news source for you and switch up the content a little bit. So after the onboards, I want to give you this breaking news. Giovinazzi will stay in Alfa Romeo. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, I didn't talk about it too much in this article and won't in this video, but Hulkenberg is left basically with nothing. So he was linked to a DTM move. Some people are saying he said that was fake news. Uh, he hashtagged fake news and... Um, and he, he put it in German, so I didn't I translated it, and um, he he doesn't come specifically outright and say it's not true. He does type fake news though. I mean, I guess yeah, you guys are probably like Nick, shut up, we get it. But um, yeah, I'm kind of uh, I'm not buying that he's actually going 
at least based on what I just saw, it was the Italian version of motorsport. I don't actually think that he's going based on that, uh, based on that journalist, but I will say that it is interesting, um, the, the rumors. And Hulkenberg's not left with much. I mean, Latifi looks really good. Uh, and performed pretty well in well no he didn't really perform well it's a lie I don't even know why I said that he didn't perform that well in FP1 in the United States and but in Mexico he was okay um, and he's got one more left in Brazil then he's going back to his uh, he's sitting second right now as uh, DeFries already locked up the, F, the F2 series but he can still clinch um, the the runner up spot in F two so he's he's got to drive in Abu Dhabi in his feature race but he will be driving in FP one so we'll see what happens but Williams probably is going to lock up Latifi which removes that off the table and after Albon's drive Horner said um, that Albon is, it's his seat to lose which I don't know at, at this point I don't really believe sometimes I would question what Red Bull says and what they mean are their yeses yes and noes and noes based on what they said about Gasly too but this one seems a little bit more legit who, uh, you know, we always feel like Albon's fighting through the pack. But Hulkenberg, I don't know that he's going to be able to usurp Albon. It's young talent. He comes from the driver school, um, the driver academy there. So I don't I don't think that that's really an option either. So maybe if they put him at Toro Rosso with Kvyat's latest form. But um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. But uh, either way, Giovinazzi is locking up this seat. My final opinion is it's his. It's it's a good decision. It's good to lock. I, I love it that an Italian's in that seat. I love when there's representation um, from as many countries as possible. And I still think we don't know what he's really capable of in the Formula 1 car. Uh, I just know that he probably could have done more this year. And I, I think next year is his make or break season, as I put. And that's my final take on it. But I'd, I'd love it if you guys gave me a different take. Tell me how wrong I am and then prove it. But um, 10 to 9 on qualifying, minus 27 delta on points. Not a lot of points, but 10 to 9, he has pace. So we'll see. Thanks a lot for checking this out, guys. I'll see you very soon. Subscribe, like, Cranky Yankee, signing out.